Euh, donc c'est l'histoire d'une femme qui est accusée d'avoir tué son mari et on va suivre le procès de cette femme et, euh, et donc cette femme a un fils, euh, Daniel, qui va se retrouver au milieu de ça, perdu et euh, qui va essayer de, de... qui va commencer à douter de sa mère, voilà. Beaucoup en fait, trop. Donc je pense que c'est difficile d'en donner une en fait parce que j'ai vu à peu près tous les films de procès possibles. Je regarde énormément de crime stories, enfin je pense qu'il y a trop de choses en fait pour dire vraiment une, une inspiration. We've been knowing each other for 11, 10, 12 years now. We've met at Berlinale, uh, where Justine had a short film called uh, Movies Film of Vegas. <laughs> and we, I was in the jury at the time, and I loved the film very much, so we gave, we were three people, and we all loved it, so we gave her the prize. And that's how our contact um, uh, originated. But. Then Justine was asking me for Sibyl, that was three, four years ago, four or five years ago. And while we were shooting Sibyl, she told me that maybe we should also try to do something bigger together, like a bigger role. And then soon after, <laughs> the script arrived and I fell in love with it uh, immediately and I wanted to do it. Well, first of all, you can't play that way if the script isn't good. You can't play, can't, like, play a, um, a complex person when it's not written in complexity. So I really depended on, on the writing of Justine and Arthur. That's the first thing. And then we've been work, working very with a lot of momentum. I mean, Some decisions have been made, obviously, but also some decisions have been made very much later. We had a lot of variations of scenes sometimes um, where she would um, appear in a certain manner and appear in another manner and then she would decide later which one was the right. So I'm just, I'm really, it's really simple. I'm really just trying to be there and to serve the script. It's really, it's really very simple. Normally, I would have thought that I need to decide. That's what I learned in school. You need to know if your character is guilty or not, if they did it or not. But in this case, Justine just didn't want to tell me. <laughs> so we realized really quickly that it's not what it's about. And of course, I had to play someone who's convinced they didn't do it. So no matter if or if not, she must be sure it wasn't her. She must, if she's a liar, she must be a really good one. So. I think that was kind of the decision that I made. I don't know it, but I really have to pretend very well. I really, I would play someone who thinks he's innocent. So mm -hmm. that's it. That's what she told me yeah, two days okay. before shooting because I was starting to <laughs> panic because she didn't tell me the truth. <laughs> And then you said one sentence. You have to play it like you're innocent. Yes, you, it, she said you have to play it like you're innocent. <laughs> and I heard, only heard the like. And I called and said, what, 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 what? You really cannot do this to me because if... I need an information because then, yeah, don't play with me. That's what I said. And <laughs> we were, it was decided and yeah. Okay. 